Hi, good morning. Welcome back to another show. It's Will from Wolves Electrical Services, also known as the Midfield General. In today's show, what I'm going to show you is the Ahmed Talk set that I've got. Um, I've had it quite a while. What I've noticed with this is, uh, I was actually, funny enough, I was doing a board the other week, and what I tend to do, which is pretty poor, and I'll, and I'll explain it to you, is what I usually do is I usually second fix the fuse board, and then I go back and tweak them all, you know, to make sure the settings and all that. And what I've kind of figured out is, is uh, maybe I'm over tightening it, and when I'm checking it, I'm just I'm just proving that it's the minimum at that torque setting, which obviously is not what they want. They obviously not giving you these figures for nothing, are they? So what I've also got is I've got my screwdriver, Irizola bad boy, and I've also got my battery drill uh, there. And I just want to show you, because we've all done it, haven't we? You know what I mean? It's like, uh, I just want to show you what sort of settings. This is a Milwaukee 12 volt bad boy. Uh, it's an M12 CDs. These bare unit on power tool, mate, at the moment is 70 notes. Honestly, I've had that one tweak for that, and that is my favorite drill. But I'll review that on a later stage, you know what I mean? But yeah, we go back to this. This Armex set, when I was looking into it, I've got to be honest, I didn't really shop around. They had them in my wholesalers, Grant and Stone, and I was happy, you know, just to get them. There was, I think, Weira do, like Weira do a set, but I think the Weira set only goes up, they might have changed them now, but I think the Weira set goes from 1.5 newton meters to 3 newton meters, which is a bit peculiar, really. I know Weir half do, do ones that go up to uh, 1.5 to the same as these. These are I think these are 5.5, but, well, this one goes up to six and a half, this Armeg one. But obviously, on the blades, on the blades, each individual ones, because obviously, like, a little slotted, like this, this four mil slotted, you know, that's never going to go to 5.5 five before that shears off, is it? That That is uh, a maximum 2.8. I'll, I'll obviously put some pictures up, as, as we either as we go along or at the end. It depends on how hard it is. I'm just learning to edit, to be honest, so... It's a, it's a bit of a fucking nightmare. But yeah, so, uh, yeah, this is a lovely little set. So basically, in this set, you get three different drivers. You get, and they're all like the interchangeable blades. So you actually get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I'll do a list. I'll do a list. Either I'll let it run along the bottom or something like that. And obviously, the newton meters. But this one's like this. It clicks out, comes out. That's just the normal screwdriver. Then also, what I do like, and, and I've got to be honest, I haven't got one of these, and I, I've noticed that they've started to do all the torque drivers and all that with them, you know, sorry, the tech drivers or, or whatever. It's so similar than the pronunciation, isn't it? And like, you know, and this this one, I think these ones, this is a little four mil, four mil like uh, square one. I think these are for like uh, the old, uh, you know, the, Henley blocks, but like uh, the DNO sides, you know what I mean? They have the little, they have the little square ones, and a lot of isolators have them. I think uh, in America, I think these are the Robinson. I think they call them. I'm not sure. We don't really have the Robinsons, but I watch a lot of uh, YouTube. I watch a really good one called uh, Electrician U, and some of the stuff you see on there. Like I used to think that they were light years ahead of us, you know, like with all the stuff and. Some of the stuff, they're well behind. They have no zones or anything like that. It's really, like, it's quite disappointing. And, like, all their switches, they don't even, like, the termination for their switches, they don't even, like, cover them or anything. They're just bare screws on the side. And you just think, oh, the amount of times you get a belt with them bad boys, you know what I mean? But, yeah, these are absolutely sweet. So, yeah, they come with all these different types and all that. Uh, and, obviously, what it's got... I'll bring it up to you so you can have a better look. Yeah, so it's got this set in here, which you just change. I'll show you. I'll show you. So you literally get that and you set it. So I'll get a bit of I'll get a bit of literature of the. Uh, of what I've got is I've got a shitty old Hager board that I pulled out because I want to show you on it of what it is. And it says, this is surprising, I tell you. It says on here, I'll try and get this on the page, on the screen as well. But it's got tightening single cable, less than 1.5, which you've got 1.5 singles in there. 1.5 newton meters. Yeah. I've set that to 1.5. I'll quickly come around and show you. 
what I did want to do is I wanted to set up a separate camera so you can see all this without me coming to it. But when it comes to editing, it's just an absolute no go. You know what I mean? You know, my sparks ain't fucking Steven Spiel, Will Spielberg. You know what I mean? But yeah, I've got that 1.5. Obviously, that is the break of the modular screw screwdriver bit, which is uh, PZ2S, I think they call them, aren't they? Yeah, PZ. PZ SL2. So I suppose the SL1. I wonder. Yeah. Oh, you did get one, yeah. So the PZ SL1 is the smaller ones, which are more like for uh, contactors and relays and all that. Uh, See these? See they have a little extra bit on them there. Yeah, slightly different. You can't really use them. You don't really want to use these on PZ2 screws because it just smash them up and obviously it's not really the idea of them. Uh, cause, and also the smaller one, the SL1, is rated at 3.5 and this one is 5.5 but you know, I don't really know where you could really use use a 5.5. I suppose maybe some of the uh, so maybe some of the moulded circuit breakers, but a lot of them now, like um, a lot of them now, is it the is it the uh, Schneider ones or is it the MEM ones? You know where you just literally get the bolt and you sh they shear off into place. I fucking hate them things. I, I, I think they're well moody. I can't see how shearing them off, you know, because you only get one go at it. If you mess it up, you're fucked, isn't you? Not that I ever have, and not, you probably can't, but there's still always that element, isn't there? Yeah? Right, okay. Well, what I've got to do is I've got to try and bring you in close so I can try and show you. So what I'll do is I'm going to get a fuse board. I've got some singles. Zero fuck is given to the presentation of that. The board's come out of an old house. I'll even put a picture up of a, uh, of what it looked like before. It's an old 16th edition board, but we're, this that's irrelevant, yeah? Right. right, so what I'll do is I've tightened it up with my screwdriver. You've just seen that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this to 1.5. So see, that's at 1.5, yeah? Can you see that? See that? Yeah? It's at 1.5 because it starts at 1, so yeah? So I'll give that a quick take. That's gone straight away, yeah? That's gone straight away. So that's obviously too tight. Yeah, so if I just bounce that up to two and a half, yeah, because I don't think I'm over tightening them that much. That's gone straight away, so that's too tight. That's gone too tight, so I'll bang that up to three. Yeah, so that's probably at three. So that's double of what it should be, yeah? And then this one is even more. And I think the maximum for an MCB is 2.8. So, so 2.8, bring that down to 2.8. Yeah, so that was about spot on the live. Yeah, just a quick example of, you know, what we're doing, you know, you know what I think I noticed I was doing. So I don't know if that's shone any light. It's a bit of a shit experiment, but I hope it just uh, highlights something to you. Yeah. It's the same with the old batch drills, yeah. See, I've got this long drill bit. What I like about this long drill bit is that, see, you can see the, you can actually see it, the, the drill doesn't actually block your vision. I love that about him. Yeah. Yeah. I obviously know this is gonna to be too tight. It's, it's impossible not to do without, you know, to do it again afterwards, but yeah. So I change that to one five. Just what I'm trying to get at is a bit of food for thought. So one five straight away, too much. Right, I'll just bang that straight up to three, I reckon. Sorry about the old death breath, but yeah, so that was that was just probably bang on three. Yeah. So yeah, just something to be aware of. Yeah. Right, so I'll just quickly give you a quick tour, just up nice and close is with this one, this is the actual torque driver. So with this one to change the blade, you just turn it to the left, pull it out. See, these are beautiful. They're not like the other interchangeable ones. They go in, you, you can buy spare ones of these. I think they're a fiver. I see them online last night when I was looking at it. I didn't actually realize that this Armig is actually a British company, which is, is quite nice really. I quite like the idea of that. So with that, you get the torque adjuster like that and you just turn it. 
yeah it's easy as it's as simple as anything yeah and it's just got that display on the top so it's beautiful i really like this the only the only problem i i have got with it which i have got a bit of a complaint is that there's no handle yeah which i only really take it in after do a fuse board but obviously contradicting what i'm trying to tell you not to do but it's is how it works yeah is this one is a t-bar this is beautiful this one is very similar to the torque driver it just changes like that that's got a four mil one on there four mil robinson i think they call them then you've got this one which is a third one which has got a different button you press that and pull it out they feel nice and strong but i only really use them on fuse boards to be honest i don't you know it's not as if they're gonna get hammered like all my other drivers see all the settings so beautiful absolute really nice set is it is quite expensive but i think they all are i think you know maybe if you've got the weir drivers or the weir har drivers then maybe you, you're better off going down that road but for me this is perfect it's, it's really nice it, and i'm just so shocked at the manufacturer's settings compared to you know what i've been doing them because obviously i used to do them i used to do them with battery drills all the time but then i stopped because i'd I didn't like it, you know, because obviously we always you always see the uh, MCB splitting and all that, don't you? And obviously once you're going that far, you're well out of it. But yeah, right. Right, thanks again for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the show. I hope you subscribe and like, and I'll see you later. Alligator, up the old blues. Oh yeah.